Hello, it's Sarah. And tonight I have a project share for you guys. This is the little ATC boxes that Bona, she's Live Love Scrap. She has a tutorial to make these little boxes. And I'm so glad I found it because I had shown previously these little ATCs that I made that I love that are actually the chunkiest I've ever done. I've, I've actually popped them up. I've put... Um, big flowers on here, thick things. I never did that before. And when I went to put them in the ATC sleeves, they would not fit. They won't fit in my little binder sleeve either. So these little boxes came out super cute. And I just did them all the same. I kind of stuck to the theme that I was doing um, with the ATCs, uh, the burlap and the um, kind of... Uh, colors, the muted colors, what am I trying to say, like, um, you know, the tans, the browns, the creams, stuff like that, so I just basically put a piece of burl, I did, this paper, I think it's a double-sided paper, so it, I think, I want to say it's K and Company, but it's an old line, and it's, or something I got at Joann's for like five dollars, like something that's just kind of like, um, it was extra paper that I had, but I just wanted something kind of plain, like maybe with a script or something. So that's why I grabbed it. And then I cut, like I just like say it's double sided. So I drew the heart out of the other side. Well, this is a different piece. But anyway, um, you get what I'm saying. And did the heart out of the other side and just uh, stamped out love with my little stamp set that I got on some... Um, what is it? It's file folder and made a little banner and one of my burlap flowers. I mean, I really just wanted to keep them simple. Oh, I put, which I love how that looks around the edges too. Um, I put the stress stickles on the hearts, on most of the hearts. Actually, this one I didn't. I put some stickles around the edges of this flower and uh, glossy accents. And this is what I'm trying to, the um, perfect pearls, the perfect pearls dimensional paint. Um, liquid pearls, I'm sorry, liquid pearls. So super cute. I just put a flower and a heart and love and some burlap on each one and they fit in there just perfect. The only, I had to do one of them. These are all half inch boxes, like a half an inch this way. And the, le the one I had to do three quarter. So this is a little bit wider as you can see. And just to fit, this one was just a little bit higher. The flowers came up a little bit higher and I had popped up that heart, so I needed it a little bit bigger. But she's got dimensions for, um, let's see, all the way up to a one inch ATC box. So if you really embellish a lot on your ATCs, don't worry, you can make a little box to put it in. And then you can send it off that way when you swap them or um, send goodies to someone. So that was one of the projects I did. I finished that. And those are just for me. I'm going to keep those until I want to send them to someone. Um, I was working on the pizza boxes, you know. And along with that, So Crafty 100, who is Yolanda. And she is so crafty, I have to say. This was amazing. <laughs> I, she, um, I bought the corrugated cards from Michaels that everybody uses for these little pizza boxes. And they come with the um, envelope, obviously. These boxes, these totes are made from this envelope and you don't even cut the envelope. You score the envelope and you make it into this. And it's like amazing. And I'm just like, I'm thrilled to have like this little tote. You could fill it with stuff like, I don't know. Look at this. My dimensional magic will fit in there. A punch will fit in there. A stamp will fit in there. I mean, you can fit so much stuff. Here's a little, one of my Tim Holtz little books. I mean, look at that. Like, you could actually, I'm going to try selling these at my craft show because, I mean, I just think it's, you know, it's for something that's a little different for an older person. Not older, but maybe not a kid anymore. Maybe a teenager. Well, especially this. I did these with the Prima, Prima Romance novel. I had never used it. I had it in my stash and just figured I am using that. So this one was the most elaborate one I did. Um, you know, I added the bling and all the ribbon and some flower, this flower cluster. Um, and it turned out pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I inked everything in the black, I think, on this one. Um, and I, I put paper on front 
back and bottom. So it's kind of reinforcing the envelope because it's just an envelope. It's like an envelope. It's so cool. So, and then some trim. So that's my first one. And then this one, I have only two embellishments besides the ribbons and the trims. Again, there's paper on the back, bottom, and front. And I just put Dream and a hot air balloon on this one. But the paper is so gorgeous, I thought it spoke for itself. I could add like stickles or something glittery on there, but I mean, I just think the trims and the um, paper do the talking. And then this one even has less, it just says laugh. And you know, romance novel, it's about like there's typewriters and journaling and love letters and things like that, all with roses. So it's like pink and black. So those were three of the ones I did. I only did three so far, but these could be done in any theme, in any style. I've seen them done Halloween especially. Oh my God, I think I definitely have to make a couple Halloween ones and like fill them with goodies for Maya or, you know, or my special kids in the neighborhood that come by um, and do a Christmas one or do, you know, whatever holiday, Easter even. I mean, they're just the cutest little thing. I'm and I don't know how I miss them. I just think they're adorable. I even thought you could probably add some, add a handle to it or something. Maybe you could hang it on a doorknob. You know, you could put potpourri in there or something. I don't know. I mean, amazing. So, of course, I had to make a couple of boxes to go with it. So, I made three more pizza boxes um, with the same paper. I didn't go crazy with them either. I just kind of, this one is kind of meant to be similar to that, it has the same paper on it, so I put a flower cluster. These are cut aparts from the paper line. I just glossy accented them. Um, this one doesn't match exactly. It just says laugh, smile, um, a couple more cut aparts, some trims. I mean, super cute. And then this is the first time I ever did this, like bent one of the, it says unforgettable. I mean, I put the uh, Wig of Stella on there, so it's really shiny. And just a corner piece and a heart button. I mean, really simple, you guys. This takes so quick. They're, they're, it's so satisfying because, you know, you can sit down. You're not making a mini album. You're not um, altering some huge thing. It's just like three pieces of paper, glue it on, put some trim on, and you got, you come away with such a cute item. So, um, you guys go over to uh, So Crafty 100's website. She's Yolanda, and she is so crafty. And um, check it out. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching.